Isn't that pretty? Hi everyone, I'm Jason Buck. I work with Remax Estate Properties and I'm in one of the most just magical spots in Palos Verdes. I'm in Upper Portuguese Bay. Um, it's what, six something or other? About six o'clock, so it's the golden hour. Um, Upper Portuguese Bend is gated. And in fact, we're on Narcissa. I'm gonna show you 19 Narcissa. But what's so unique is as this road winds around up towards the top um, of Narcissa is where Vanderlip lived. Vanderlip was the one who bought Palos Verdes in 1913 for $1.3 million, all 16,000 acres, and had a vision of developing Palos Verdes Estates, what is now Palos Verdes Estates. Then he called it the Palos Verdes Project. Um, and he was inspired by the Amalfi Coast of Italy and wanted to recreate that somewhere, and he picked Palos Verdes. Um, the land, the architecture here, uh, this is all incredible. We do have a current issue right now with land movement. This property seems pretty good. Um, we'll take a good look at it. Um, there is movement in the, the area, and you can see right next to us is Wafers Chapel, which uh, is also, you know, it's... It's unfortunate they've closed it because they're nervous about movement. So we get a three car garage and we'll see some things here maybe perhaps, but uh, nothing sparks out as being alarming at this time. Um, there was a pool here and in the nineties they filled it, which is probably smart to get rid of any weight or extra water. Okay, so taking a look at this property, the first thing that I see when I walk in, obviously the flooring, oh, great here's our listing agent. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura Burns. I don't know who I'm talking to out there, but welcome. This is 19 Narcissa, and this is Alex on our team, as well as we have Abby. And, and we're very grateful for them to give us the opportunity to take a look. Oh, well, thank you for coming. Yeah. This is one of those sp spectacular opportunities. It is. And behind the gates, in the community, and with this vista. Okay, so there Every we go. Every neighbor has said, this is Holy. the best view. I, you know, you get to this spot and you're like, unreal. And I did not paint this out on the camera or nothing. That's, no, you did it's not. all ocean, it's all Catalina. It's absolutely incredible. So let's get out here. So this is um, Abalone Cove. And if you ever saw that movie, That Old House, it was filmed on that ridge right there. Um, there's another historic mansion over here. A lot of the older historic properties were here. And you have Wafers Chapel here, almost directly in that sunbeam. That's gonna be a good shot later. Um, Terranea Point or Terranea Hotel is on the point up there. All Catalina Island. There'd be a little island over there, which is where the sun would set um, in the winter and then it'd move across the horizon. So um, we do have a little bit of a uh, support beams and stuff holding this deck up. You do have some yard out back here. Um, we'll come back to that later. Let's look at the house first. You also have yard over here. So it's really a great opportunity. There's quite a bit of space here. Um, obviously the view is just insane. It's just incredible. So um, what I like here is the hardwood floors and the high ceilings. Windows look good. Floors look amazing. So this is a very nice entrance um, and area. So you got dining there. We do a living area here. This works. Oh my gosh, and you just look through the whole house at the views, it's just incredible. Kitchen looks nicely updated. Yeah, we got a tongue and groove, maple lined, and a cushion closed. Nice. Peppers are nice. They're also real wood, it's important. I don't like the veneer because it doesn't last as long. It's nice. This is pantry. Oh, pull out. That's nice. What's going on here? Fake. Is it this one? That makes sense. Okay. Three quarter bath in the back. Nice countertop. Gosh, the ceilings are high. It's cool. This is direct access to the garage. Nice garage. And look, it's all in good shape here. It's good to see. I mean, you'd see cracks if there was something really wrong. I mean, look, there's no hiding what's going on back here. There's a movement from all the rain, but it's not that bad. This floor is amazing. It's gorgeous. Right? Yeah. So now we're getting to the bedrooms.
it feels like it goes down there. And I saw, it looks like there's some wood um, pulling away at the start of that room. So it feels like it goes down. We are raised foundation. So this is the second bedroom that shares this bath. And it's a nice jacuzzi tub there. The floors are a little uneven. I just feel like I'm going up and down a little bit. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this floor. That is beautiful. Man, this is in great shape. For It's just nice. So this would be an office, I think. And then here's the bedroom. A recessed lighting, skim ceilings, you know, gorgeous view. I don't think you could fit the bed here. If you could, that'd be perfect to look out that way. That's amazing. Man, they must have just refinished these floors. They're just in great shape. So three bedroom and a lot of ground. How big is the house? Um, just under 2,900 square feet. It is? Uh-huh, and then the lot size is 41,000. Wow, 41. That's... So you have a huge frontage of yeah. just beautiful, grown, succulents. Yep. Just something that's very mature. And then actually the lot goes down here if you want me to show you. Sure. And if you come with me, that lot goes down through the cover to just about in line with these yellow plants right okay. down in here. So we went almost in the gully. And is this and on sewer? It is? Yep. Okay. Um, at one point it was septic. And uh, I asked them how often are they doing maintenance. There are so many, there's so much succulents down here yeah. that they check in with it every year, but typically it's about every other year cool. that they're cutting things back. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. My pleasure. All right, let's take a look this way real quick. One thing I noticed, they're controlling the water and sending it further away, which is really important. They have a tankless water heater on the outside here. Yeah, more water control, which is what you need. Wow. It's pretty special. Super nice. God, what a great day too. It's been so cold lately in Palos Verdes, but uh, today we're finally in the 70s. I have one shirt on, just a t-shirt, which is nice. balcony is amazing a lot of room to host parties and people and chairs and all sorts of stuff okay they got a bunch of fruit trees over here air conditioning that's nice another tankless avocado here probably orange maybe lemon here's a lemon Hola, ¿qué tal? Buena vista. Buena para la gar. Yeah. Real nice. How you doing? Good, how's it going? 
Huh. Looks clean here. They've done some retrofitting. Forced air heater. Well, pretty spectacular location and um, really unique home. There's really not a lot like this ever. Um, so this is a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to get into this area and, and see something behind the gates back here on a truly historic street. I'd be happy to tell you a lot more details about this. Um, I don't live far from here and I love talking about the history of Palos Verdes and why this place is so special and enjoying this lifestyle. So if you're interested, give me a call. Happy to share with you. Thanks a lot for watching and make it a great day.